today. We're gonna go over my shoe collection today. And that's right behind me. This is the main shoe collection. I have more beneath me and more over there. So we're just gonna go over this and the one beneath me because the one in my closet has a bunch of clothes on top of it. And it's a little hard. So let's get right into it. Right above me or right here, we'll go over each one. So this used to be little cubbies for the little box things and I turned it into uh, my shoe rack or my shoe box, my shoe box cubbies. Up here, this whole top section is all Adidas, Ultra Boost, all the, basically all the boosts, yeah. So the first one, I have um, a pair of Ultra Boost at size 10 and a half triple weight. These are the Ultra Boost 1.0s, I believe. These are the ones. Um, I probably should put a shoe tree inside. I have a bunch, but I just don't. Because then I'm lazy when to put it back in the shoe tree back inside. And I'm done. It's an NMD R1 PK. Pretty sure it means pack. I don't want to sure. But this is the box. It's a little be but be beat up, but the shoes are in pretty good condition. I really like the Japanese inside. Uh, over here, I'll talk about these two next. These are my uh, NMDs, the all triple white NMDs. I have one NMD R1. This one is like, I would call it cageless. I would call it cageless because it doesn't have a cage. These are actually my first pair of boost. And so these are the NMD XR1. I have a cage right here um, on both sides. And they all have the little thing in the back. Connor Ursalom, uh, he sells, he buys a lot of shoes. He's not. I wouldn't call him a hype beast, he's a shoe collector. And so, he also wears the same size as me. So eventually when he's done wearing shoes, or like he bought shoes that he didn't want to wear, he'll sell it to me as like a pack. So, I actually got a couple of these for from him. The, the gray NMDs, the Vita Fox, uh, the caged NMDs, and this pair. This is the last pair that I got from my friend Connor. I haven't worn these actually. These are brand new. Never worn. These are called the NMD R2. Yeah, so yeah, these are the NMD R2s because they don't have the box on this side. Yeah, but they have a different box on this side. Oh, he also sold me the Triple White Ultra Boost ones with the pack of shoes that he gave me. Yeah, so he gave me these t these two, um, this one, and then this one, all in one sale. I think I got all all four for about two fifty. One of, one of them was brand new, and then the other three were fairly used, but not worn out. The Harden ones, um, I don't really put my laces away really nicely, because, yeah. So these are the Harden ones. I actually really like them. They have good grip most of the time. Uh, yeah. The box is pretty swag, too. I don't know what this is. If you know what this is, um, please let me know. I always think it's Target, but I'm pretty darn sure I did not buy this shoe from Target. So, I'm trying to figure out what it is. So, over here, these are my um, Nike SBs and just Nike in general. This L shape right here. And these are the Max PRMs. 
so that's that. And then, they, actually these I really like. I used to wear these all the time. So yeah. Uh, the next Stefan Janowski is the Lunar. These, these are actually not my favorite pair of SBs that I bought. Um, they just looked kind of cool, and they're all black too. So these have a shoe tree. Now you must be wondering, why do I have Nike SBs if um, I don't even skateboard? Because swear to God, I don't skateboard at all. If I did, I'd probably get hurt. But I don't. So. The reason I have them is because I wanted a, a going out shoe, but then I wanted it to be Nike because uh, back in the day I loved Nike, like Nike, 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 all the time, just straight Nike. And so I had to get a Nike shoe, but was fit to go out. And so I felt that the SBs were the closest thing I could get to like the going out shoe. So these are the next SBs. These are called the Lunar, uh, the Hyperfeel XTs. I actually got, I don't know how this happened, but I actually got two pairs of these shoes for free from Nike um, in two different names. So me and my dad both have Nike accounts. And I don't know why, but I guess like our accounts merged into one and my dad would buy the SBs from Nike.com using his account and somehow our accounts were merged. And so then they thought, oh wow, this guy's buying a lot of SBs. I only bought two, but I don't know. But he thought, okay, well these guys are buying a lot of SBs. So we'll send you a pre-release pair of shoes, these, and you can test them out. And all you have to do is in a month, let us know how they feel and so we can write a review and release them. So they sent it to me twice. Um, it was funny because my dad got this confirmation email saying, oh, we're sending shoes to you. And me and my dad were like, yo, we didn't order anything. And so when it arrived, we we're like, what, what's inside? And so we got these from them. I got two. I sold one for about, 50, I think $40, $50 around there. Because I got it for free, so I just got 100% profit. And personally, I don't think they're that look nice looking. They are kind of nice though. They're not super good looking though. But yeah. And this. The sole is white with a large swoosh. But yeah, I don't really like them. But I got them for free, so I can't complain really. Um, if you want to see. Well, it wasn't really. Um, it was like an unboxing edit. It might be on my Instagram. I'll have to double check, but yeah. But, um, so these are actually Kobe's Nike Zoom Kobe icons. So these are actually Kobe's that were like Pro Tros, kind of. And this is what it looks like. Um, they have a little shroud. And so the front. I actually bought these because the inside looked like uh, Jordans, these old Jordans I used to have. So I bought these because I wanted shoes just like the old Jordans that I had. And I forget what Kobe, I think it was 7 or 6, that had the sole like this. And so I really loved the sole on those. And so. It's just a bunch of Kobe's that they just combined into one. I don't know where this the shroud came from, but yeah, so these are Kobe's that Kobe icon, zoom icons. And they came in this black box. I've actually played a couple games in these. Not a good idea. Definitely not basketball shoes. Um, yeah. But they're good, nice shoes. Uh, if you're going out. You want to show them off. These are my Prestos. Um, Nike Presto Fly. 
they're the same. They're almost. They're basically the same exact shoe. Uh, this one's gray. This one's triple black. Yeah. So they were on sale actually, both gray and black for like. $40 each by two for the price of one and that's how I ended up with those. They're actually really comfortable. If you need to grow an inch in anything, those are the shoes for you. The heel is so thick that it's like wearing Timberlands, if you know what those are. Um, these are my, I think they're called the Kobe 9s. Yeah, nine. Kobe nines. These. I call them watermelons. Because they basically. They're the color of watermelons, like, actually. Same shoe. Just different colorway. So that's what they look like. Moving on. Uh, these are some 31s, Jordan 31s, uh, Lowe's. I guess they had a high top. They did, yeah. They definitely did have a high top. I bought these freshman season, front of home. They were bad, not good grip. Um, but every so often, I just give it a test to see if. I give it a test to see if the grip magically changed over time, but will it really ever do that? Probably not. Paul George 2s. These are okay. I mean, they look pretty good. Um, you know when you, when you're like closing out on someone, and you like, you chop your steps and you hear that squeaking noise? I don't know why, but for some reason with me and these shoes, I can't squeak at all. It just, it's not, these don't squeak, they just, they stop you, but they don't squeak. Moving on to the last shoes right here in this corner, it's, I keep it front and center, are my Jordan 29's Year of the Rams. And so I'm a Year of the Ram. And so these, I don't know why, they don't look anything like Rams. For some reason, these were known as the Year of the Rams. They came out during Chinese New Year, 12th birthday, because there's 12 Zodiacs. So on my 12th birthday, I got these. Didn't even know that he got them. But yeah. Alright, so right now I got out the shoes that are beneath me. They're in this bin right here and this bin on this side. And so we'll go over this side first. So the first shoe are Nike Epic Reacts. There's a little coach strip in the back. Um, I got these for my 16th birthday. These are my designated running shoes. I actually got them for the marathon. This past year's marathon that I was not able to run because I had a basketball game on the Monday after. And I knew that if I ran the marathon, I definitely would not be able to run in the basketball game the next day. So these are the Nike Zoom Flies. This, I like to call them the Tinker Hatfield colorway because if anyone knows who Tinker Hatfield is, this is the colorway that he basically makes all the time on the Kobe's, Jordan's, blah, blah, blah. Kobe 10s. These are actually Kobe 10s. The purple colorway. Yeah, um, these. Personally, they're good shoes, nice support, love the cushioning. 
traction, not there, non-existent, at least for me. Um, I'm pretty sure these shoes had some problems bearing in traction, so I just got a bad shoe. These are actually, I got these from Ross. Um, curry ones, pretty sure. I think these are pretty sure these are curry ones. Curry one lows, um, dad shoes. Pretty sure these are called the dad shoes. Um, they're all white basically. Comment if you want these. I'm gonna be selling these for 60 to 70 dollars. Comment down below if you want them. These are just the box for the year of the Rams that I showed earlier. The one over there, the one I got on my 12th birthday. These are the box. It's empty. Um, the box just looks sick, so I want to keep it also. These are the other Nike Zooms that is a um, Nike Zoom. KD, KD8s, EXT, KDs. It's like this woven material. Check it out. For my triple white shoes, Crep Protect. Kobe 11s that I own. Draft Day colorway. Draft Day. No box for these shoes because um, I don't know why. Oh, maybe I bought these from Ross. Probably. I probably did buy these from Ross. So these used to be an indoor shoe. I love them as an indoor shoe. And then eventually, um, I actually started to wear them down on indoor courts, which is almost impossible with most shoes. And so once they started wearing down on indoor courts, I was like, okay, well, let's extend its life. I don't practice outdoors a lot, so I brought them outdoors. These are my beater, beater shoes. Uh, these are called, what are these called? The name will be right here. But yeah, these are my beater shoes. You'll see them, you'll see me wear these a lot at school. That's why they don't have a box. Probably because I also bought them from Ross. Uh, but yeah. They're my beater shoes. So when I need to beat them, when I need to just go out real quick. Or if I'm going to school. And I know it's going to be like a rainy day or a day that it just rained the day before and it's muddy. I'm not going to wear triple white shoes because then it's going to be dirty. So beater shoes is what I go to. Um, these are basically brand new slides. Um based on the Jordan 13 Black Cats. They have the emblem right there. Jordan 13 Black Cats uh, slides, basically. You know, why the hell they don't got names on these things, bro? Like, what? Right, anyways. Oh. I don't know what these are called. I'll look them up. Name will be right, right here. But yeah, these... Lunar These were my old running shoes that I just use if I ever need to do like um, dirty work. These are called the Sauconies. Kin. Kinvara. Saucony Kinvara. These are super soft shoes. As you can see, they're freaking thick. Um, super soft. Uh, super good running shoes. These are my first ever marathon shoes. Back in, I think, 2016 was the year I did my first marathon. Right here. Yeah. Alright, so let's make this. These are the last couple shoes. Um, that were in my closet. These are the old shoes that I don't wear anymore. I either don't fit or I don't like them, like completely don't like them. So these are the shoes that are in my closet. Bron 10s. These shoes, um, these exact same colorways 
Zion Williamson wore that these colorways in March Madness. If you don't believe me, you can look and look up Zion Williamson custom LeBron 10 Duke shoes. Back when Jer when Carmelo had a Jordan contract, these were the shoes that I wore from him. Just because they had a Jordan shoe, one of the Jordan number shoes. It looked exactly like this. I wore those out, beat them to death. Then they came out with these, because I guess Carmelo liked the exact same shoe, so then they released a Carmelo shoe. These were it. These are this back bling. Back bling is swag. It says melt. These next shoes I'm selling currently. I'm trying to sell them. These are. Pretty sure these are the Kobe 7s. Comment if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure Kobe 7s. This is what they look like. Pretty good condition. I'm selling them, so let me know if you want to buy them. I think these are also 29s. Jordan 29, size 11. Uh, don't wear them anymore. I really love the Looney Tunes. I actually have a shirt that matches this that I used to wear underneath my jerseys. My jersey or Z's. I had a jersey, I had a shirt that matched it. I used to wear them underneath it. Um, I'm willing to sell these two. Let me know. Size 11. All right, guys. So it's the same day that. Same day, but now it's 10 o'clock at night. Earlier today, after I shot the clip, I got some shoes in that I ordered earlier this week, around Thursday, Wednesday, or Tuesday. So the first pair are these bad boys right here. And so yeah, these is what it looks like. It has the React foam right here. Um, it's, it doesn't have the little thing right here. Has the like pull tab too. Brand new. Just got them in today. The LeBron 16s. I got the this black and white colorway. Has a leather backing right here. Black and white. It's basically an Oreo shoe. Has full length zoom, but the zoom is broken up into parts. That's his old logo, by the way. And uh, that's it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know this is a long one, but please hope you guys enjoyed, subscribe, like the video, comment down below, I don't care. Um, yeah, thank you guys. Um, hope you enjoyed. Yeah, my way, Screw it.